Yeah. All right, we are live now here on Facebook. Hello, and we are here with the Taz, the wonderful Taz, and we are going to be talking about inspiring abundance. And we're going to be sharing a really quick information on how to inspire abundance, how to get started. So if you've been thinking about starting an online business or thinking about any kind of business, right? Um, this is something that you can do anywhere you're or anywhere, right? As long as you have an internet signal, right? And you have a computer or, or your phone, right? You can do this. And that's where a lot of people are looking for. I know I've talked to so many people who are like, how do I get an in-home thing? How do I get a remote thing? How do I do, you know, a lot of these things or what we're going to talk about later, which is another challenge that a lot of people face, especially in America, right? Um, or Canada too, right? Is you have kids, right? She, well, Taz has children and your kids go to school and uh, you might find out things that are happening in the school that you might not agree with. And you may question, like, should they go to school? Should they not go to school? And they're like, well, I can't afford that. Well, maybe you can afford it. Maybe you can homeschool them as an option. Maybe you can move to a, you know, another country where you like the schooling and you believe in the schooling systems. We're going to talk a little bit about that um, afterwards. Um, but Taz, if you want to jump in, share maybe really quick your your business story, what that means to you, um, and and these company and this food, and we'll go into the brochure. Absolutely, thank you so much, Kevin. And we apologize to all of you where we ran a little bit late. Kevin and I got on the call and we just started talking about exactly what he was just saying. And then we're like, wait, you know what? Maybe we should talk about this today because we had such a great debate about it. How about this? How about that? And I'm very experienced in it. I have firsthand experience. So I'm like, yes, we have to consider this and you have to look at that. So I mean, it just ties into what we're doing and how we're setting up the future generation for the next level of greatness, right? And really quick, not- really quick for me, uh, while I'm passionate about it is because I didn't think I wanted to have kids before because I saw the problems in the world and I got mm-hmm. consumed in the fear and I didn't want to. And so I, I didn't take steps to have kids, but now my mind is totally shifted. I want to, I want to have kids and I want to pr- make sure they're protected and I want to make sure that they're safe and I want to make sure that they're thriving and they have what they need. Right. And so I learned from people like you that have kids and people like Allison and Jared that have kids, like really, like I, like I, I have interviews with you talking about your kids. Like I want to know about your kids so that I'm better prepared. I love that. That makes me so happy. So now you start envisioning the world, not only how you can see it, what you want to create for the future generation. And this is what we're all about. This is why we, we're here. This is why we show up and we show you that there are ways, there are better ways than what we were taught. You know, we were taught this way, And we have to get rid of this box. We have to expand our mind and show people that there's other ways to expand our business, our health, our wealth, and share it with others. So my business story is so simple. And you know what? Honestly, it's not what I I thought I needed. It's not what I thought I, I wanted. It just started organically happening. I've been in the health world for many, many years. And a lot of companies approach me with um, protein powders, supplements, green juices, all forms. And I'm very, very particular. And I look at ingredients. So I would look at ingredients and it always was one or two or three or four or five ingredients that I didn't support. And they would always try to convince me, okay, yes, but you can just focus on the good. And I'm like, yes, but the bad was so bad. And they were telling me, but you have to say this. And I'm like, absolutely not. I don't have to say anything. I know the effects. I'm like, pregnant women shouldn't be taking this. No, you shouldn't be taking this. And they would just disregard all of that. So I'm like, you know what? This does not align with me. I don't know if this makes sense to any of you who are listening out there, but something, a product, a business, a modality needs to fully align with me for me to be able to share it. I can't share something that I actually don't consume and I don't wouldn't give my kids. I'm very, very particular in every single thing that I use, that I do. You know, you need to be an advocate of what you consume. So I was looking to make my own product. Okay, I was like, you know what? Everything is failing me. I'm going to create my own product. So I started, I started investigating, I started making appointment with retailers, textile, trying to get the perfect product. And it's expensive. It's, ex- it's not like a little expensive, it's through the roof expensive. 
and everything I wanted, they didn't have. I'm like, yes, but I don't want plastic. I don't want plastic container. That's like, that's against what I want to do. I want, you know, glass or biodegradable. I didn't even know what existed at that time that I could utilize. But everything they were coming up to me was too expensive. I needed these orders and I needed, you know, to, these wholesales. It was just so much for me to learn, to understand. And I really needed to be part of that world for like many, many years. And I had no experience. And then one day I went to a uh, superfood social, just like the ones that we do all the time, Kevin. And they had these green juices. I took a look at the ingredients. I'm like, this is amazing right? This is exactly what I've been doing and I've been looking for. So I started using it. My whole family started using it. We were in Florida. We brought it back home. We loved it. And I started to see how much my body, my mind, my focus, my kids started to improve. So I started sharing it. That's it. I went online and I started sharing it. I'm like, this is great. And then here we are almost what, eight years, eight, nine years later, the business has expanded exponentially especially during COVID where everything switched to online everyone's understanding an online business and I kept saying I'm like where have you been the whole the future is online and I don't have to do drop shipping I don't have to do any of that I just have to recommend what I use and what I consume and then the business is already set and done for all of us. So here we are years later, and we built a massive business with like-minded people, people who this business aligns with us. And it's become a family business. My kids talk about it, my son, my daughter, everyone, we talk about it all the time. I always say, Purium, it's not only what we, we consume, it's who we are, it's part of our limbs. You know, it's like an extension of our arms. So it just becomes part of you and, um, it helps with entrepreneurship skills. It helps with business skills, math skills. It helps the entire family. Yeah, and that's so amazing. Can I share, can I, you you look like you're 25, okay? Thank you. And can I share your age? Is that okay? Absolutely. I, my and birthday so, was yesterday. Yeah, so happy birthday. So you just turned, it looks like 26, but <laughs> 42, 42, right? And so a lot of people might look at you now and think, oh my gosh, yeah, she's so healthy and so vibrant and so amazing to hear the way you speak. You could tell like yours speak so clear and so confident and so concise. You could tell your brain's healthy. <laughs> That's what you can tell, right? Um, but then like you could see it, you know, inside of you from the skin and, and the glow and, and everything else in your hair, right? And you didn't start out like that. And you were really struggling, even though talking about talking about health, not real long, but can you just share the, the, the health challenge that you, you had to overcome um, real Absol quick? Absolutely. I want to share as well. My son printed out a picture of me when I was 15 years old. Okay. He printed out and put it on the frame and he showed it to me. And I'm like, wow. Everyone was like, who was that? And I'm like, exactly. They're like, you look younger now than I did then. But that's exactly it. We don't know how well our bodies can feel. So what Kevin was talking about, so I had everything from um, migraines. Migraines were ingrained in part of my, my being, my life. My mom had it. My grandmother had it. We all suffer from migraines. And I had aura migraines. So this is when it affects your eyes. And, you know, you would see stars. It was the worst type of migraines. I had migraines, I had GERD, GERD is the worst acid reflux. I had Crohn's, which they said it was incurable. You know, up to this day, I can't say it was cured. I always have to say it was it dormant, but we know the reality. And then I developed eczema all over my face. And for me, that was the moment that catapulted everything because everything else was hidden. No one saw, but when the eczema happened, my eczema was all over my eyes, all over my face. They diagnosed me with lupus. They're like, it must be lupus, right? Back then, they just diagnosed you with everything. They would throw everything at you. And I was on tons of medication, like a plethora of medication in my early 20s. And, you know, I was trained that the medical system wants to help you, wants to help 
heal you. So what do I do? I put all my trust in them and I took everything. But what was happening is that my body was suffering. My body was in so much pain. I felt like I was 80 years old. You talk about my vibrancy now. I didn't even have any of that. I didn't even know what it looked like to be vibrant. My arms, my back, everything, my legs, everything hurt. You know, I just thought that was how the body should feel. I didn't know. And it was until that I started looking for solutions and all of those ailments went away. I'm like, so amazing. So, you know, we want to give the possibility to you that your body can thrive. You can feel amazing and it can start working with you and not against you. Yeah. And so that, that segues into what this is all about. This is the transformation company. We help people transform their lives just like you, stories just like you. There's even people that are feeling like they're doing great and they, they think everything's great and they have a health upgrade even beyond what they thought was possible, right? Or even like me, like I thought I was doing good and I was like, I need, I felt even better, right? So I couldn't believe that I could take an increase, right? And so we get paid on helping people transform. There's thousands of stories like you, like Taz, and that's that's one of the that's why we feel so proud. That's why we feel so great. It's not like, oh my gosh, look how amazing it is, the, the money that came in. No, we get, that's not what's amazing. What's really amazing is stories like yours, stories like mine of true transformation and what we really want. So I'm going to share how to get started and what to do. Um, I'm going to share my screen here real quick, and we're going to just go through the, um, through the actual transformation Um Paige, so you want to say let, yes to this lifestyle that you desire. You want to transform lives. You want to transform your income. So since 2004, um, PRM has been a business model that's paid thousands of people just like you. And equal opportunity is very valuable. I remember working in a company where it was not equal opportunity. There was favoritism. If you if your boss liked you, you got it promoted. If you, if you did favors for them, you got promotions. So there was not equal opportunity um, at all. And so that, that's definitely important. So it's helped people pay from their products. Like for me, like I've, this is paid for, I haven't paid for food, you know, in five years, which is unbelievable, right? So it covers people just like that to paying their home, their mortgages to full-time income, right? So real um, income and real impact. All right. So the Perium's business model is its best uh, product. So just as we're committed to non-GMO organic standards and high quality products, we're equally committed to providing fair compensation to those that are truly transforming people's health and wealth. Whether you're a creative, stay-at-home parent, a wellness professional, the Perian business model supports every single lifestyle. So you can be your own boss. What does that mean? You could choose your time. You could choose when you work. No one, Taz doesn't tell me what to do, right? No one tells me what to do. I do what I want. I do what I feel is best. I create the videos that I want. I create, I have the conversations with the people that I want. I choose who I work with, right? Before I used to hire people, when I was hiring people for restaurants, I would hire people based on the location I was in. I couldn't really choose anyone that I wanted to work with, right? I remember I was in a, in a town where there was almost no one around and almost everyone was either, had been on like hard drugs, either currently or previously. Like it was just an area like that. And that was, that was the pool of employees that I could select from, right? And it was really tough, right? Um, so time freedom, right? Not being able to work when I want, like my time frame, I remember being in restaurants, you work till midnight or overnight or be there at 5 a.m. or be there at 4 a.m., right? All of these ridiculous times. So time freedom, location freedom. I remember being in a, being in a location or wherever you're at, you had to be there. You had to show up there. You had to move there. You had to buy a home there if you're going to a new location. You had to literally trans transport your whole life around your job or your career, right? So you could choose where you want to work. I was working in Belize, right? You were working in Miami. You were from Canada, right? All these different places, financial freedom, right? That's the other thing you have the opportunity. Most jobs is you, just, you make just enough to get by, right? This is where you have actually have the ability to get ahead and get free where you, you're not like, Oh, I can't buy that because I don't have enough for this. Infinite income possibilities, which means you could help as many people as you want, right? Choose the people you work with, personalized superfood superstore. So you get your own personalized, customized superfood shop. It's like it's like having a franchise, like buying a franchise or like your own McDonald's or something or your own Subway or something like that, except for it's real high quality food and shipped right to your door and you don't have to pay millions of dollars like it costs for those franchises. 
subscription-based food delivery. So that helps build your residuals. That's, that's one of the most beneficial things. You don't have to constantly be helping people get food. They buy food once and often people stay for years and years and years. Right. Um, and that's, that's another really powerful thing, leadership and growth opportunities. So people like Taz, people like me, always helping you, always teaching you, always wanting to grow with you and building duplicatable systems, which is important, right? Which, which means that, that it's almost like um, it can, some things can be an autopilot, right? Which is what it feels like you have. I know some people that you work with where it's almost like they're running their whole business, right? And it's on autopilot, you know, in some ways and because it has been duplicatable. Right, which is which is what a lot of people are looking for. Like there isn't a a way where it's like residual, where it's like, or um, what's the word? I'm forget the word that I'm looking for, but we're passive, where people think passive, where it's just coming in and there's no work, right? It's not like that. It's almost like a blend. It's almost like work you're getting paid for that you did years ago, right? Um, and that's kind of how I look at it. It's like, you know, today someone purchased, you know, that that bought me from me from five years ago. Right. So I'm getting paid. I helped them five years ago, but I'm getting paid today for work I did five years ago. The jobs that I quit before, I never got paid. When I quit, right, I didn't get paid five years later. Right. So, anyways, do you want to add anything onto this and, and uh, share anything to, um, from here or read ahead? Well, absolutely. I mean, you, we live an Instagram life right? You go on Instagram, you see all of these influencers, they're all talking about something, someone there's an ad for something, someone is selling something. But what what is it? Go take a look what it is. You know, is it is it good? Does it fit your standards? Is it something that you would want to support? A lot of times it's not. And people are just saying anything out there, you know, so why not become the what truly aligns with you and really what you stand for and what you believe in because who wants to be in this like cookie cutter shape kind of world you know and when you were talking about duplication so my background is in genetics so cloning I'm like what better way than to make better bigger versions of yourself right you don't want someone to be exactly like you but you get the skills and like build upon it just like what we do with our children. It's like, here are life skills. Now go out there and be better. Be yourself and do it in your way because you are allowed, you have the creativity to expand this how you want. If you want to make this into like, you know, a music video, you want to make this into any form that will reflect you in the best light, you can do that, right? And what I love about this, you are in business for yourself, but you're not by yourself. Imagine trying to open up a business by yourself and all the work and everything you have to do, but having the highest mentors around you that are going to give you a play-by-play -play of exactly what you need to do. They're holding your hand through this whole thing at the beginning, especially, and they're guiding you what you need to do, how to open up shop, how to close, what you need to do, how you need to do it. It's the best it's the best form of business and sharing forward. Yeah. And some people think like, well, why do you need, if it's so great, why do you need more people? You know, why don't you just do it yourself? Right. And the reason why is we literally need more warriors, more people in everywhere part of the world, because I can't do it by myself. What do you mean do it by yourself? Like I can help the people in my community, right? You help the people in your community, right? We need more people in their communities to help the people transform their lives in their community. That's why we need more people. We need more warriors that care about the planet, that care about the health, that care about the animals, that care about you know their family. That's what we need. We need more people like that um, in their community. So you're in business for yourself, not by yourself. The owners are committed. The work where it's a partnership. Right. A partnership means that we work together. They're working on their own lives and their own business and their own thing. Right. We're partnered with them. Right. Because we both we agree on this mission. That's where we have an alignment. We have an alignment with the same mission. Right. And so they're committed like big time and they're not going away over 20 years of this, but 30 plus years of focused on helping people thrive, feeling their best. And they were doing it, you know, for many, many years before this company even existed is was what Dave was doing to help people um, just like what we're doing. People that you see online or people that you see helping others or the healers, the Dr. Sebi's of the world, the medical mediums of the world. That's Do that's Dave. You know what I mean? Like all these all these high health influencers, like the only difference is 
is like he just didn't blow up or whatever like it isn't popular but he's been doing like like what they're doing with you know with the natural healing for a long time he just created the smartest really one of the smartest ways to share it with people right dr sebi has a lot of things or all these people have a lot of things that are creative but sometimes it's really hard to follow okay read this book okay read another book okay read another book okay read another book okay i've read five medical medium books okay <laughs> like like uh where do i start what do i start again is it the celery juice do I start with the celery juice, like, or not the celery juice? You're like, so right. So, anyways, yeah. So it makes it simple, right? So they do all the heavy, the heavy lifting. That's the other thing about business. It's really hard, right? They do all the heavy lifting. That's the partnership. They do a lot of the hard stuff, the stuff that you don't want to do. You do all the fun stuff, talking to people, interacting, all the healing, all the videos, all the fun stuff that you like, all the hard stuff. Like, yeah, like that's not fun. Okay, so get started fast and risk free. Okay. Yeah. That's just another thing is like, like it literally um, about over a million dollars you need to have in the bank to open a lot of these franchises. Right. Um, where you need, uh, like what? $300 in the bank or something like that. You know what I mean? And you can get that back, like, you know, um, really, really quick. Right. So you don't need a lot up front to invest. And I think that's where a lot of people quit because they don't have a lot of people stay with those businesses that they invest a million dollars. It's like, eh, I invested my whole life into this. I can't quit now. Right. Whereas some of you are like, well, it's only $300. I'll get that next week. I'll get that in a couple of weeks. Right. I'll get that back soon. Right. Um, even if, you know, so it, that's what happens with some people, you know, so you got to really see this as the value. And this is what, this is what helps with seeing the value right um and these are some of the things that really helped people understand like the value so can you just break this down really quick you want to add this add some things break down and paying for your products in the first few weeks like starting starting fast sure i mean where can you find a 30-day program with a 60-day money back guarantee right first of all that's amazing and you we have fast start you can make over a hundred dollars one-time bonus we have a hundred dollars mentoring bonus and this is always going forward right so the more people you can help you will be having matching bonuses on all levels which i think is the biggest reward ever to help people start their business to show them how successful they can be and keep sharing this forward and you know there's another thing that's really important for me is that this is a private company and they will never be sold so this is, I'm always really in tune of which companies are getting sold out. I don't know if you guys heard, Yete was just sold yesterday to PepsiCo for $1.9 billion. And this breaks my heart because I told the kids, I'm like, well, we can't have Yete anymore. You know, they just sold out to another, you know, big Monsanto company that we, we cannot support. So who are you supporting? Go take a look at your pantry. Are you supporting people who are actually out there trying to make a difference? Or are you supporting diseases? Are you dis supporting companies that actually want to keep you sick? So, you know, we're showing you everything here that everything is allowed for you to have choices. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. And like, this helps people understand too, right? Like kind of a little bit was possible of what they can make in like the first few weeks, right? Some people need to know that like, oh, what can I, what can I make? You know, can I do this? Cause this is, this is, this calls more focused about business, right? So people that are like, oh, if you're made it this far, you're definitely serious, you know, about making some extra money. So this is a way that you can start fast. And this is, this is, this is like small, you know, small increments, right? That you can do, right? Which some people, this is a huge, right? $330 extra or $500 extra for someone, it could be life-changing depending on where they're at and what situation they're in, right? Um, so that could be huge for some people, but we're going to go into a couple really quick, um, a couple of people that transformed even way, way further, life-changing income, sharing the products and the business opportunity with others. When you sign up a customer, you're changing a single life which is amazing. Transforming someone's life is a miracle. If you help someone overcome something that they've been facing that they couldn't figure out anyway, you are, you're, you're a miracle in their life. You know what I mean? Like that's incredible, right? That's what Allison did for me and you sharing with Allison did for, you know, that she did for me. Right. And when you enroll a brand partner, right, you have the ability to change countless lives, thousands of lives. You introduce someone to this business right? You can change thousands of lives. Like really quick, Nicole. Nicole's unbelievably inspiring, right? Her overarching why 
Um, at the beginning of the summer, she had no plans of even to be able to put her son in the summer camp. He's special needs and it's $700 a week. He wanted to go, but there was, it was nothing more than just a dream. Last month, Piriam managed to pay for his entire summer camp. He's having the best time of his life, making new friends and new memories. And he want to, and um, I want to, she wants to keep supporting him. Piriam gives her hope that he can thrive with more options available to him. Um, this is um, her why. She's a flying mom from Canada um, to help a week. Oh, no, she, wait, this month. Oh, she flew her mom um, from Canada to help for a week. Um, and she's already a brand partner and helps saving the future for her son. And Nicole is really inspiring to me because I was just learning more about her story and learning more about her. And she just hit like one of the top ranks where we're going to talk about where she's literally in a few months, which is unbelievable. She's helped thousands and thousands and thousands of lives. That means she helped so many people in order to get there. And also she helped so many people get to their goal, right? Which is another unbelievable accomplishment because she doesn't get success unless she helps others, right? Um, and and yeah, she's just so inspiring. And I, I we talked a little bit about Dubai, right? Um, Taz and a little bit about there. And I lived in the Middle East for two years and I learned a lot about, about Muslim culture and I learned a lot about that and the mindset around it. And I know so many people that I think could see Nicole's story and be incredibly inspired about what's possible. Um, and I know that some of them are some of the hardest workers that I've seen, right? And when they see this opportunity, it's unlike a lot of people work hard, but they don't get the opportunities that they that they're that they're awarded where someone like her. And other people like her, they work hard and they're rewarded opportunities. So this is living life with purpose. So what you love combines with your skill set, combines with the income you earn, combines with what the world needs. And this is called your, um, does it say the word right here? The ikigai? I thought it would say, yeah, the Japanese philosophical, philosoph philosophical concept called ikigai, translation to a reason to live. Right. And so oftentimes we're not pushed or we don't push ourselves because we don't have any purpose. But if you find a blend of what you love, what your skill set is, how you can earn income and what the world actually needs, you find that purpose. You find your icky guy. You find your reason to live. You see so many people out there. And I was like that. It felt like I didn't have a reason to live when I saw this. And I saw what I can do. And I and then I started listening to people and I started helping people transform their lives it became a purpose. I didn't have a, a real strong purpose before, right? Um, so that's what I want to share. But let's let's just, or you can, I'll send this to you guys. Um, there's a lots of information, but I want to jump into right here. This is where Taz is at and where some, well, some people that Taz works with as well as at, right? And this is where you can get to if you, if you choose to, and you can work really, really hard. And I think this is a very great diagram that can help envision what's possible. Sometimes you, some people want to be a doctor. That's what I wanted to be. I want to be a doctor for a couple of reasons. I wanted to help people heal because that's what I thought they did. And I was like, that's great money, right? People, doctors make great money, right? And I thought I need to make, be a doctor, be a lawyer, be all these different things that are high income. But when I saw that it was possible to make higher income than a doctor, more income than a doctor, and actually help more people than a doctor makes, I was sold. And I said, this is worth it. So you look at some of these numbers, right? Crown, 15,000 per month, 26,000 per month, 36,000 per month, 41,000 per month, 47,000 per month, right? These are numbers of what you can, you can not only survive and help yourself with what you need, your basic. Some people are struggling to get basic food. Like, how am I going to afford food? How am I going to afford rent? You don't got to think about that, right? But now you get into the realm of, wait, what can I use this money for? Could I use this to help the victims of, of the of the Hurricane Helene? Could I use this to help the animals that are suffering and create a sanctuary? Could I use this to buy land for my family and help a, a security blanket and build a farm with them, right? It starts to see what's possible because you don't have to invest less than $300 for this. To get 47,000 a month, that seems impossible, right? But that what we're telling you is it is, and we can teach you and we can guide you and it is possible, right? Because Sonia right there does it. And she teaches us, she literally was telling us last night what to do. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like, 
what would you like to share to this? Because I know this helps a lot of people expand their mindset. So let's not forget to talk about the profit sharing. Okay. So as you go up in this, in this, you get profit sharing in the entire company. So just like, you know, you know, blue chip, you know, all about all of these terms, right? This is profit sharing. These are shares that we actually get from the company that we helped certain number of people. But now we've expanded to everyone that the company has helped. We are getting this back as well. So we are the owners of it. We become like part owners. How incredible is that? This company really, it gives back to you on so many levels and it really allows you to feel financially secure. And I know this is something that, um, you know, worries a lot of people. Well, where is it going to be? What if something happens? Well, we're showing you that there's, there's no way that something can happen, that you are going to be completely safeguarded. We are giving you monthly, we're giving you weekly, and we are giving you profit sharing. So I mean, the more you understand about it, there, it's so much information, but the more you understand just the, the gist of it, it's so incredible and it's beautiful of how they, they're allowed to give back to us. And we are starting to reap this abundance together. Yeah, because most companies that do really great and help a lot of people or get a lot of service, let's say, not saying Amazon is helping a lot of people, but they're getting the goods that people want, right? Um, that, they're that they want. And um, it, it appears that they're doing a good service, right? Um, it appears like in 2020, you know, people couldn't get good. So, you know, Amazon was a, was a big contributor. But you look at what happens at the top of the CEOs and the, they, and the, the CEO, the owners, and they hoard all the money and they, and they don't use it for good. Right. Which is very often not into it's counterintuitive to maybe what some people want. Right. Whereas what we want and a lot of people that we're talking about, we want to give back, right. And, and give back to those that, that are deserving of it and give back to those that are making a transformation and give back to those that are helping people. Right. And not hoarding all this money just to, just to buy wealth or, or just to, you know, whatever it is, right? Um, it just doesn't, it doesn't usually align with a lot of people. And that's where people get frustrated oftentimes on any company or any corporation. It becomes frustrating because they're like, it just doesn't make sense to a lot of people where, why the money is going where it's going, right? When they look into it. Um, and that's why you, you wouldn't follow a Pepsi and, and you make the choices in your family. Like we're not supporting Pepsi or, or there are certain choices that people make. Hey, we're not supporting these companies. Right. Um, and so, yeah, so we're better together. Like I said, um, like we need more people. We need more people like you that and better together. It's really hard doing it alone. There's more stories like people, you know, we're talking about this every month, how we live, you know, eat superfoods, love the earth, inspire abundance and build community. This week, we're talking about inspiring abundance. Um, and uh, next week, we're going to be talking about loving the earth. Right. And just say, yes, if you if you want to know more information, if you're ready, if you want to learn how to do this um, and connect with us, all you have to do is say yes and we'll get you started and we'll get you guided. And it's not like overnight you earn this money. Right. What happens is you learn how to build the money over time and it becomes steady. And even if you stop, like I said, I stop right working, not working at all. I'm still getting paid on money on work that I did. Right. It's almost like it accumulates from work that I've done. It kind of just builds up over time right? Like compound interest, right? Very similar, right? So let's, let's wrap this up with what we, uh, with uh, the, we're going to talk about uh, what happens with abundance and what happens when you have the ability like you to, to maybe homeschool your kids. If you want to talk a little about homeschooling your kids and maybe some, some mindset that you have about choosing places to maybe raise your kids, places to, you know, if you want to relocate or places to maybe the schooling system, just stuff, a little bit of stuff like that. And we could go from there. Absolutely. So when you're building this business, you know, what's the beauty of it? Your kids see, right? Your kids see how you live. They see what you're all about. They start seeing your values. And when we get on these calls, because most of our calls are done on Zoom, they start learning these skills. So this actually becomes, so I homeschool my kids for years, almost four years. And they were listening to the calls and they were like, well, this is great information. Are you doing math skills or doing science skills? They're doing all kinds of skills. If they're learning, you know, debating speech. I mean, it really helps you on so many levels. So my kids were, are part of the business. 
and they hear and they learn and they grow. And it's amazing of how just having your kids part of the business with you, it really starts shaping them. And it starts transforming the way that I think of school. So I did all a traditional school, right? But now in the new paradigm, it's not what I look at at all. I look at them like university. What do you need university for? You already have the skills. I've set you up with the skills. You've been living this for so many years. You already know what to do. Everyone's trying to go to an online business and we have the skills for you. And you just have to be 18 years old to get started. So, but you can start training your kids and showing them the possibilities. Both my kids are entrepreneurial. They already have the mindset ready to go. My son, who is 10, has a huge AI business. He, he, he's called that AI genius. He's being asked to say speeches at AI conferences. I mean, where do you think he got these skills from? Listening to me, going on our calls, acquiring these skills. They, they're not built overnight. But the more we do it, the more we practice, we are showing everyone. Your kids don't do as you say, they do as you do. So the more you show up and try to better yourself, they are doing that to themselves as well. When I started off in this, I didn't know how to speak. I didn't know how to go online. I couldn't even imagine doing that. But, but with practice, with time, you start getting better and better. And you know what? It becomes second nature. You don't even know who you were before. And this is the whole point of growth and transformation. So we're talking about homeschooling. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's not. But I mean, it's the greatest way that you can give a solid foundation to your kids. Where do you want to live? The world is your oyster. You can live anywhere. You can pick somewhere. If it's an earth school, if it's there are different types of schooling. But once your kids have a solid base of who they are and what's their passion, right? Because this is where we're trying to get our kids to be focused on what you want to do. Now you're giving them the skills to go out there and create, create however feels true to you. So that's what I'm doing with my kids. My kids are in school now, but they have a solid foundation, they know what to do. They know their values. They know who we are. So it doesn't matter what life throws at them. They're solid, right? And they have these skills. A lot of people are like, well, the skills that they have, where was it acquired? Was it acquired this school or this school? No, it was me. It was me. I'm the one who was showing them how to build everything and, and how we live, right? Because when you're building, you're living it. This becomes part of your daily activity. So they start seeing this and they want to create it and they want to build their own life. So, you know, I don't stress any school. Now my daughter is in grade 11. So she's starting to look at university. Well, the whole school is doing this whole university tour. She's not interested because she has a different mindset of where the world is going to. And she will not be boxed because this is, we teach our kids how to be expansive and they don't need to be limited. So if you want to travel, you want your kids to go to Europe, you want them to go anywhere, you want to go to Bali, you want to learn other ways, you can because you have the skills, right? And the online business, you can build anywhere. Yeah, and I think a lot of people go to school, right? Um, let's say they didn't learn all these things that you learned, right? And they just learned what most people learn. They might go into school without like a passion or a purpose, right? Because mo most people don't even have, their parents might not even have a passion or purpose, right? So like, how are the kids going to know what their passion or purpose is, right? So oftentimes you go in and you think they're going to learn that there. They're going to find their passion and purpose there, right? And some do, many do, right? And that's kind of the path, right? It's like, maybe they'll be interested in math and they'll you know, get into there. Maybe they'll be interested in science and they'll get into there. Maybe they'll like English and they'll get into there. You know, maybe they'll like Spanish or whatever, right? Then they go to university and some are, are uh, and I know I was the same way when I went to, when I went to college. Um, I started at a community college first uh, because it was, there was a few reasons, right? One, it was like the cost made sense, right? In the in-state. So you're like, okay, there's there. But then the other thing, that a lot of people face, which what I was facing is, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I had made it all the way through high school into college and just sitting there thinking, I don't even know what I want to do. 
I guess I'll take the general general ed because that's what they're telling me. You got to take that, right? So going there, still not even really thinking what I want to do, right? And not really having a clear direction. So if you have your situation or someone with, or anyone with a situation where the passion is clear and the purpose is clear and the direction is clear, right? Even though you might, you don't know the outcome, right? You don't, your kids don't know the outcome. No one knows the, no one knows the outcome, but the purpose and passion is clear, right? Then it makes a lot of sense that why would you need the university? Because oftentimes you're going there to learn what your passion or career is, but you're like, wait, I already figured that out. So it can make total sense that you're in this, you know, a little bit of a conundrum with some people get into where they're like, why go to the university touring if I don't, if they're not going to go there or they don't, they, maybe they don't want to go there. Right. And so, and that could be a situation where even though you could do it, if you chose to, it's just, it's just not the path right there. Whereas some people get to the situation where they're like, I want to do the university and I believe in the university, but now it's too much money. I don't even have the money um, to go to go mm -hmm. to the university, right? Um, so those are definitely um, some challenges. And then from the parent standpoint, right? Um, you being there with your kids and them seeing what you're doing, right? There's a few things there. One, of course, they're learning, and it, it, you're so right. I say that I I learned this so much now, and I say this often is that the kids don't listen to what you say. You know, it's what you do, right? And and you see that as as well from living it, right? And I just remember when I was, my mom left when I was two. So I didn't have a mom, right? Um, and so that was, that was the things that come from that, you know, from the abandonment and these kind of things, right? That people face, right? But let's say your dad, right? My dad raised us, right? And he was very present and very good, right? Um, but when he went to work, he went to work, right? He can only do so much of the raising, right? If he's at work, right? And what happens to people, whether it's your dad or your mom, when they go to work for anyone, right? Even if you know what they do, I know what he does, right? Like kind of, you know, you don't always know exactly what they do. You kind of know. Some people have no idea what their parents do, right? Like, let's say you kind of generally know what they do. You still don't know what they totally do. And you still have a feelings of abandonment and a feelings of confusion, a feelings of why they're not there, a feelings of question, right? Even though they come home every night, it's not drastic, it's not super traumatic, but there's a little bit of it, right? There's a little bit of what's going on, I don't know. You know, you can't really show them what you're doing, right? Because you're not there. My dad was doing construction. He wasn't showing me how he does construction. He just did it over there and then came back. I didn't see it until I started working, doing construction with him, then I learned, right? But your, your kids are seeing it day in and day out and constantly seeing it and absorbing it and learning it. And I feel like that, that makes a huge, huge, huge impact, right, on them and getting a chance to see it. And that's one of the blessings, you know, that you get. It doesn't mean every single parent can do that or, or every single parent, you know, has to stay home or be with their kids all the time. But if you have the benefit of that, right, and to bring them with you, even if, even if he could have brought me to work, right, that would have been great, right? It would have been great. He did later when I was able to work, right? And we did a lot of that stuff. And that helped. That helped so much to really understand. I, I, like, I get it. I know what you're going through. I understand what you're experiencing. I understand the hardship. I understand the challenges. It had a huge relatability uh, of that, but also I could make a decision, a stronger decision. Do I want to do that? Do I not want to do that? Right? Because I was more informed. And your kids have the same way. Do they don't have to do this? I want to do with you, but they're super informed and they're well known. And then they have the strong basis where maybe I didn't have such a strong base, right? Where I was more susceptible to maybe get into negative, you know, um, you know, peer pressure right? Maybe alcohol, or maybe some of these things that people face, you know, in their, in their, in their schooling that they may fear, right? Um, their kids going to, maybe I want, they want to do homeschool because they're like, I don't want my kids to be, you know, to be influenced into that, right? Um, but what, what you're right is, is you're, you raise them so well and so strong that their values are so strong. Same thing, my values are so strong. I can drive by, you know, now they're strong, but I can drive by a fast food and say no, right? I don't have, I'm not like so influenced by it. Right, we're similar um, with your kids. Anyways, you want to add something to that? Yeah, you were you were asking me before the call. You were like, "Well, how do you feel about your like kids going to school in Miami?" Of course, I mean, like, with the stuff that goes on here, I I couldn't even imagine. But because the base is so solid, they already know. They know what to look for. They have this level of awareness. 
the junk food. I mean, they know from all levels of standpoint, they are aware and they know how to make these, these decisions. Everything is about choices. And I allow them to see the good and bad in both choices. And it's like, well, now make your decision. Which way do you want to go? You know, I never force my kids into anything. This is why I needed to come from them. When it comes from you, then you don't have to worry. Because I get this a lot from a lot of parents. They're like, well, are you worried? They're going to make bad decisions when you're not there. That's the whole point. That's the whole point of parenting is how are you going to make decisions when I'm not there? Hope, hopefully you have made them have a solid base that they can make the correct choices so when they're out there, right? They need to become a bit better version of you so they have this level of awareness, you know? And we're talking about education. We're talking about finding your purpose. Well, you know, when you go to university, you have to do all these classes. You talk about the general classes. Are you really interested in all these things? Humanities, world history? I do really want to focus on that. You know, they give you their things that they're like, you have to do. Well, why do you have to do them? Why not go straight to your passion of what you love to do? I know I, I never loved to be forced into doing things I didn't love. I'm like, I love math and science. Can I just do that? Why do I have to do everything else, right? But everyone has different passions. If you're creative and you want to draw all day, why can't you do that and make a fantastic living out of it? Why can't you do exactly what you need your, and release your creative side? Yeah, I definitely agree. And I think it's, that's what we're here for is, is to share what's possible for those that are, that want, you know, this possibility and those that are, you know, thinking about kids and, and how is this going to help my kids? Like you can, I've seen, I feel like, I don't know how many kids, hundreds and hundreds of kids you know, and some people are worried, is this healthy for my kids? Is this safe? I, th you have the smartest, healthiest kids I've ever seen. Allison is the smartest, healthiest kids I've ever seen. Every person that I've seen their kids are so smart, so healthy, so vibrant, and, and like, like, almost seemingly light years ahead of some other kids in their age, right? And that's, like, you say the proof is in the pudding or whatever. Like, to me, like, that's the proof is in the pudding. I could, we could talk all day. You know, we could show you this, this resort. I mean, we could show you this study and this study and this study and all the research and all the information uh, to me, like that matters, but what matters most is like seeing it, you know, and experiencing it and, and seeing the reality and just knowing. And that's what also gives me so much confidence, right? Confidence to refer someone, confidence to recommend, confidence to put in my body and so much less stress, right? I was stressing about food before. A lot of people are stressing about food, especially when you start learning about our food systems, it becomes a big stressor, right? Not only do I have zero stress about our food and feel so confident, but I truly believe this food protects me when I'm not so, when I'm not so perfect, when I, when I, when I consume something that's not so good for me. And I know when I'm aware, I know I'm protected because of the food that we eat. Right. And I know that I have protection. Right. And I, maybe I all purposely eat certain foods like that protect us like pre-meal control capsules that literally is designed to protect you from the food that you're about to eat right so there's certain things that are like formulated in a protection way right that i consume but also that just generally are protective right but also you see the person with uh the, you hear the story of someone smoking cigarettes or or, or drinking junk food or, or alcohol until they're and they're living past 100 and someone likes to use a story like that and you're like well look at this person if they you know I, they could do it like well, that person has an unbelievable mindset, right? And it's so powerful. And that's the other piece to this is the unbelievable rock solid, like diamond mindset that you need to have, right? It's why the person can smoke cigarettes and live to a hundred or whatever, right? But genetics plays a role into it too. Some people can literally, their body releases toxins faster than others, you know? So there, there's, there's some of that as well, right? Um, good. Can I speak about a point that you mentioned, which is so, so key with our generation that we're facing every day, Confidence. Confidence this is something that I see day in and day out with so many children. You know, being part of the Instagram world, too many of them focus on the wrong things. And this causes a lack of confidence in their personality, which causes a whole cascading effect of a whole down, down world cycle, right? And this business gives you confidence. It releases the confidence out, right? And then that gets translated to your kids because your kids see how you are. 
they become confident in themselves. You become confident. I mean, this is the ultimate self-esteem that we need to be teaching our kids forward, right? It's beyond entrepreneurship. It's beyond. It's beyond the things that we're just telling you today. Because once you get started, you start seeing deep, deep transformation within your own personality, your kids, your family. And it really, it creates a beautiful dynamic. It almost seems like the ultimate lifestyle transformation is an understatement. Mm. As 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 powerful as that word is, <laughs> mm. it's almost an understatement, yeah. right? Yeah. So I appreciate you. I know we took a little bit extra time than normal because um, we had some some powerful stuff to really instill in kids. I'm gonna make a, like a clip of this as well of this part um, that we can share um, because. I think this is important. And a lot of people are thinking either have kids, thinking about kids, right? Or want to protect their kids and 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 have solutions for them as well, right? And oftentimes that's the why and the purpose that a lot of people have. I've seen people that are like, they don't care about anything. They have a kid. All of a sudden they, they care about their health and they care about the world and they care about, you know, all these things, right? Sometimes it it creates the purpose, right? That someone didn't have, right? So there's, there's often that as well. I know many, many, you may be in that boat as well. You know, it's like it, it it created the purpose for you. It's like I gotta you know do what I can to save them and protect them and do my best, you know, to be the best mom for them, right? And uh, so yeah, that's what I have. And yeah, reach out to us because we're here to guide you and help you and support you. For those I know who were watching live and watching the replay, and I'll get back to the comments because I haven't seen the comments yet. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. The goal is same time. This is same time. Yeah, what, for you? or maybe Monday. Okay, I'll let, you know. <laughs> I'll let you know. Um, but the goal is their goal is going to be um, consistent each week, right? Whether Monday or Wednesday, and we'll be sharing and we're going to be talking about loving the earth and how we make an impact on the earth, right? Because some people are really, really passionate about the environment. I've never seen any food, any product, you know, that people are eating that's this good for the environment and doing this much for the environment. All right, thank you all, and have a great one. Thank you, Taz. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye.